I'm gonna over that with, I don't know, C, take the result, and I'll just stop here, I'll just not to get crazy with it. And let's say I wanna end the result with a D. I'm gonna show you the disadvantage when you have cascaded gates like these. And I'm not using any clock even at all. So A is gonna have a value of zero or one. So let me go right here, do a clean line here. And let's make a signal for A. Let's say A looks like this, it's zero for a while. Then it goes to one. Then back to, I don't know, a little long zero here, longer than normal, maybe two zeros back to back, then back to one. Then back to zero. This is A. So A has a zero first, then a one, then a zero, and a zero, and a one, then a zero. It has like signals, you know? To make my life easy, let's put a signal for B, C, and D right after it. Then we'll try to go through it. Maybe I should write small, or I'll make it go up at the same time, it's not even different time, unless it stays so it's zero, then one and one, then back to zero. then back to one and stays one. Now I gotta bring in C and D. Ugh. I'm just making signals, so it really doesn't matter. So here's C, so this is B. Let's do C. I'm gonna make C all the way, always zero till we hit that value. Make my life easy. Zero, zero, zero. Then it goes to one <coughs> and stays one. One, one, and one. Now I'm going to make D, so this is F here. And I'll put D, I'll make D alternate, like just like I made A alternate. I got to make sure we make them rise and fall at the same time. So a dotted line here will be good to put there. When we said you're really going to be neat when you decide to become an engineer, we're not joking here because you have to be able to draw these and follow them exactly the way it's supposed to be. So I need to put D there. Let's put D here, the last one. 
And let's say again, D starts at zero, but it flips every other one. It goes back to one, then to zero. then back to zero, then back to one, given the signal timing diagram back to zero here, can you tell me what F the result of this gate, what's the output going to be? Well, to get the result for F here, maybe I'll use red color here. I gotta trace that. Let's call the result here X. Let's call the result here Y. Then we'll get what F is. So let's find out what X will be. So here's X. Ready for X? What's zero and zero? Zero. Then we hit one and one, it goes to what? To one. Here's the bad news. There's a delay for it. It doesn't just jump there. There's usually a delay in that gate before it goes to one. So it looks like this. That's the delay that we're dealing with every day. And that's what we try to improve every single time. It's not as much as that now, but years ago it used to be, you know, milliseconds, now in microseconds, nanoseconds. But there's a delay before it jumps to one. Now we see what? Zero and one and wants to go to zero, right? Well, it doesn't happen till that delay. I'm making the box, delay is one box here. And now we go to zero. And it will stay zero, because there's a delay after that. And the next one is what? Zero and one. That's, we did the zero here. What's zero and zero? zero will stay zero and now it goes back to one but because of the delay it's going to be delayed a little bit there before you see it so it's zero one zero zero one and zero Notice that little delay there for each one of these gates to rise and fall. Now, if this gate has the same delay, we've got a bigger problem now. Now C comes in. So I've got to look at X and C. Let's see what Y looks like. So what do we got? We start with 0 and 0, which is 0. And the zero actually lasts this far. I'm looking at this and this. That's an OR gate. Right here, you get zero or one, which is what? One. one, but we got another delay now from this gate. So you're not gonna see it now for two boxes. And we'll stay one all the way to here. Now we get to this point, SC is 0 and 0, 0 or 0 is what, 0? But because of the delay now, it goes one extra step. So now you're already working on two delays here. See them? The delay from this and the delay from this, there's two delays. So everything shifted now, let's say it's one millisecond, everything's being delayed two milliseconds. Now we go 0 and 0, that's a 0. It's going to stay 0. Now 0 and 1 here. Where is it? It's going to go to 1 right there. You see a 0 and 1. This is going to go to 1, right? But because of the delay, that's actually 1 delay because there's no delay here. What am I, zero and one? And one and one is one, and zero and one is one, that will stay one.
Because with an OR gate, as long as you have zero or one, you stay one. If you're not changing state, if you're not going from one to zero, you don't see that delay because you're staying at the same level. But when you go from zero to one, you get that delay going. What about the AND gate comes in with D? So we're going to take Y, which is this one, with D. So this is an AND gate. Zero, zero, zero is going to stay that till we hit one and one. But notice where the one starts here. But one more block because of the delay now. So that's going to stay zero all the way to here. Because of that other delay coming out of this one. And that goes to one. And I'm looking at this and this. Um, actually, right here, see this one goes to zero, right? So it should drop down before that. For this one. Because it drops here. It goes to zero, and this is one here, so it should go, so here actually goes down. It, it, it's not just uh, ruined the whole signal, almost. One block, because there's nothing here. I see one. I see a zero here, and I see a one, so it has to go to zero. And it's going to stay zero till we hit this one. See this one? It's gonna, then it goes to 1. So right here is going to go to 1 because of the delay it lost this far. This is Y in where is D. It's going to go back to 0 here. But because of the delay, then it goes to 0. And now back to one here, see that? This is Y1 and D is what? Zero now, stay zero. <coughs> back here goes to one to one. So notice three here, delays here. The signal all shifted, it's supposed to go up and down at the same time. Our goal for the last 10, 15 years, 20 years, to minimize that delay. It's not to that extreme. So there's a little tiny delay. And that's why people say, why can we make the machine faster? Because we're reaching a point. We can't make it go zero to one that quickly. Now we're much actually better than this, so instead of lasting that long, we can make it go like this. So the delay is much smaller. So the more gates that you have, the larger the delay in some of these. And you have to wait because if you're trying to read this one before the signal reaches, that doesn't do you any good. You missed it. So there's the delay in combination logic circuits. That's how it works. It sometimes it changes the whole signal. Now the width's supposed to be the same. Notice these width now. I made them the same, but they're not the same anymore, too. What we do a lot of times to make sure it's not signal is not chopped like this, we use a clock. And we, you'll see that when we get to flip-flop, a clock flip-flop. So even if the signal goes zero to one, you don't see it till the clock comes in. So here. Anytime, because there's no clock, anytime the signal changes, you put a zero and a one there, this wants to go to zero. Doesn't matter when. If this is a clocked one, doesn't matter if this one goes to zero. It's not going to happen until the clock comes in and sees that, oh, I'm ready to change it now, and it will change it for us. The other topic in this section, so that's one of the topics about the delays there. Delay and combination logic circuits. Uh, maybe I'll cut the video here. This will be 